Well, let's start with what the situation is and then uh, maybe answer some more questions. Is The situation right now is we have the integration work going on, which is the deal that we signed with Yahoo. Uh, the data issue we found out about last week. So I would, I would separate the two uh, areas into we're working with Yahoo right now to really get into the data situation to figure out what it is and we're very early stage uh, on that right now so I'm not going to have a lot of answers uh, well, the, for you. The New York Post says this morning that Verizon is ticked off that they just found about it so late. Are you guys, are you guys upset? Yeah, I, I think you, uh, you know, what we're doing right now is just calmly and methodically uh, going through the situation and looking at it and since we just found out last week I think it's, it is very, very early stage so I think you know we will basically work with Yahoo on it and see what the implications are and then secondly we have very close working relationships with the whole Yahoo team in terms of the overall deal and the integration work that's happening so that's going very well I think the data thing was something new that got introduced and we'll work through that uh, you know together with them and, and you know really Verizon shareholders on our end are things we really want to be protective of and watch out for and, and at the end of the day it's the consumer it's the consumer but trust anticipate that we're focused on potentially seeking to renegotiate the transaction depending on how deep the security breach is? You know, I wouldn't comment on that right now because it's so early on okay. uh, overall. So I think that, uh, you know, if we were further on in this process and we had something to say about it, it had more information, I, we might be able to comment. But we, we, we are, uh, we're early in this, so I, I think it's probably too early to speculate or comment. I hate to bring this up yep. again, but as a Yahoo Mail user yep. myself, I, I can't believe they tweets. didn't tell me right. two years ago, right. or at least when they found out, I don't pay them anything. Right. You're on the hook for billions of dollars. Right. Aren't you mad that they didn't yep. bring this up with you earlier? Well, I think, you know, Becky, um, you know, I think that the consumer trust, I've been on the program before and talked to you guys about this, is the core basis of the relationship you have, because it's really easy for consumers to switch internet platforms at this point. So I think the, you know, the real issue here is, how do you, first of all, we're in a world, the world has changed. Security and data is going to be something that goes on for, you know, hundreds of years probably in the future. So we're at the beginning of that stage. I think Yahoo has tried to do the best job they, they can. I mean, there's nobody at Yahoo who wanted the situation no, to happen the way it did. obviously not. And, but there's uh, two issues. Yeah. One is from my perspective as a consumer. The right. other is from your perspective as a buyer. Right. And, and, and the idea that they held out and didn't tell you guys till last week when we know they knew about it at least in July. Right. I mean, does that put, you, does that make you feel personal? betrayed well I think from the standpoint of uh, you know being in the deal that we signed in the auction process we went through with them because we were one party uh, out of multiple parties you know I think one of the questions that has to be answered is uh, you know when did they know and uh, when did when was the alert set up to let us know overall and I think that's the stages where we're going through right now I, I would I would say that the process they went through was an unusual process from an auction dynamic sure. standpoint so all the bidders were in the same situation you know we are as well and I think what we're trying to do right now because th I think this is a situation where we do want to separate the data breach from how we work with them. Absolutely, and I, I, and I get that yes, entirely. Yes. My, I guess my question would be, the Wall Street Journal was reporting last week yeah. that one of the terms of the contract is that they hadn't had a serious, uh, that there were no data breaches, and I guess, Contractually, are you allowed to go back? What, what, what does the contract say? Yeah, I mean, I think the you know the uh, on both sides the contract has very good protections, just in terms of uh, you know going through that type of a process on a sale process. So I would I would say, look, there's incredibly smart people on both sides. The, our our interest level is protecting consumers, protecting Verizon uh, shareholders, making sure that Yahoo if the deal goes through, that we have a great relationship with Yahoo on the way through. And we're at such an early stage on this that I just think if anything, if we comment on anything right now, A, it wouldn't be accurate, and B, I think if this, is, this is one of those cases where it's a cause for methodical walkthrough, step in the calm process. Calmer head. <laughs> but there's speculation now that if this deal doesn't go through, that Verizon might be interested in buying Twitter. Do you think that would make sense? Uh, well, I think that's a separate, I won't comment on that at all, um, and I, I would be careful what you read. Hey CNBC fans, thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Here you're going to find videos packed with all of the information that you need to be smarter about your finances. You can subscribe by clicking right here and click on all the videos around me or the I right here to watch the latest from CNBC. Thanks for watching.